What's up, people? Coming at you from my hotel bathroom here in Turkey. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to do a video on how to properly care for velo toes. So I can't tell you how many people I run into who are, complain about velo toes because they break them or they rip quickly or they don't find them to be durable, but in reality, all those people are completely wrong, and I'm gonna show you how to properly take care of Velotoes. Yeah, I've had these for a year, and they're still going strong. So, I'm gonna show you how to properly take care of them. So the first thing I recommend that you do is read the instructions on how to put them on properly, because you have to put it on your foot first, like a sock, and then you pull it up, and then put your shoe on, and put it over the shoe. I can't tell you how many people <laughs> like try and put their shoe on first and then put the velo toes on first and they're like, why are these ripping? Oh, velo toes. Anyway, so basically these are kind of dirty. So first I'm going to wash them. That's the first step. So I will come back to you in a sec after I've washed them with some soap and water. All right, so I've just washed my Velo toes. Um, it's also easy if you just, you can hose them off when you get home from a ride. Now, the third step is to turn these things inside out and let them dry. The reason you put them inside out is because they don't really stick together as easily when they're inside out. Right. Here are my dry Velo toes, still inside out. The next step is you get a plastic bag and you put a bunch of baby powder in it. I did this a while ago, but basically the velotoes will get covered in baby powder and they won't stick together when you're trying to put them on. That's the secret. I'll give them a good shake. Then I just store them like that as well, and they'll be perfect to put on, just like new every time. Just tuck those in my rain bag. 